Trust me, dude. Hot girls are overrated. All females are sluts until proven otherwise. Don't get me wrong, they're fun for a little while, but they are a fucking headache. Money and looks can get you in the door, but game is what keeps you on the line. Bitches never know what the fuck they want, man. Live from Philadelphia, your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 389th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Tuesday, January 1st, 2019. Happy New Year, gentlemen. Hopefully you guys all made good decisions last night, didn't drink and drive, wrapped your dick, and sent that good morning text. Those are all very good decisions. If you have not sent that good morning text yet, stop watching the show right now and send it. There still might be time to avoid that false rape accusation. <laughs> Had to get it in there. We are multicasting live to seven channels, three YouTube channels, three Facebook channels, as well as Twitter. So we are all over the place. Not hard to find us. Later on in the show, I'm going to talk about what black men should expect when they start dating attractive white women for the very first time. But I'm going to start with something that every dude has been burned by at some point in their dating lives. And that, of course, is being the victim of branch swinging. We all know what branch swinging is. If you guys watch my show, if you consume Red Pill content, you know what branch swinging is. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, this is it in a nutshell. Your girl starts talking to, dating, or fucking someone else while she's still with you. And only breaks up with you when she is 100% certain that the other guy wants to be with her. It is as simple as that. But what most guys miss are the signs that his woman is either a serial branch swinger, like the vast majority of women are, or if she is about to branch swing. The simple solution to figure this out is to ask yourself, well, does my girlfriend have hoe tendencies? Now, I want you guys to keep in mind. Ho tendencies are a little bit different from slut tells. Slut tells are things that you observe in a woman that verifies that she's a bona fide slut. Tattoos, piercings, green hair, we've all we we you know, we all know what the what the average slut tells are so far. But ho tendencies are habits a girl has that she cannot let go even when she gets into a relationship. In other words, She acts like she's still single, even though she is in a relationship. The car's been sold, but it's it's driving around town with a for sale sign on it, with the phone number, in case somebody calls offering a higher price than the current owner. Hypergamy personified. You guys get the point. Now, some women take the for sale sign out of the yard, in the beginning of the relationship. But most women leave the sign out there. And the quickest way to deduce whether or not your girl is on the market, back on the market, or positioning herself to be back on the market is paying attention to her habits before and during your relationship. Now, there are a shitload of hoe tendencies out there or indicators that she's not really off the market, even though she's your girlfriend. But I'm going to point out the three most obvious that will let you know with near 100% accuracy that your girl is on the market even though you are in a relationship with her. My opening rant is brought to you by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Vibes will not only drastically reduce your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you have ever had. If you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, Go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that's Donovan15, Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. If you have a question about three signs, your girl is still on the market or back on the market, or if you have a question or comment about what to expect as a black man, When you start dating white women for the first time in your life, give me a call. 
914-205-5356. Again, that's 914-205-5356. If you have an unrelated question about girls, game, finance, fitness, or anything else that pertains to increasing your value in agency as a man, book a one-on-one consult on, Donov- on donovansharp.com forward slash consults. And my picture is a little out of whack here. Let me uh, adjust this a little bit. I'm, I'm, I am hyper, hyper particular on the way things look. And it appears... Ah, there we go. All right. Got to make sure we can see Devin's ass loud and clear. Because if we can't see Devin's ass, what's the point, right? Follow, add, and like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just do a quick search for Donovan Sharp on all three platforms. To get access to all of my content, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video, so you can listen on the go or watch at your leisure. Now, you guys can watch my show Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern, but if you want to be able to rewatch or re-listen to the episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all it takes. Guys, we all know that I could be shut down and deplatformed at any time. Last year alone, I lost two YouTube channels, one Facebook page and a Twitter account. And I said to you guys before that I would not be surprised if I lost my Patreon at some point in the not too distant future. Now, none of that is ever going to stop me from doing what I do. This train is staying on the tracks regardless, but it could stop you from getting access to my content. The only way to ensure that you never miss out on any of what I have to offer is to subscribe to my email list. It's real simple. Go to DonovanSharp.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, plug in your email, and you're good to go. Literally takes three and a half seconds. So if somebody were to snap their fingers and I get banned everywhere, you will always know when and where to find me. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my show and you want to contribute, you can do that through my Streamlabs link. I'm putting it in the chat right now. It is www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. That is www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. Shout out to Bob in Sacramento who dropped another $40 in the contribution 10. Bob has been the biggest benefactor of TSR Towers, and I actually opened up a spreadsheet and added up, I added up the amount that he has contributed to the show since, I think, October of 2016. I added it up. Since October of 2016 until just now, Bob in Sacramento has contributed $1,655 to the show. That's right. I didn't stutter. Bob in Sacramento has contributed $1,655 to the show. So shout out to Bob in Sacramento for his continued support. He and I have a good, um, like, he and I have a good dialect going. Uh, The guy really knows his shit. And from, I mean, from what I understand, he probably found the red pill at a late age. Um, You know, that being said, $1,655 to the show over a two-year period is unbelievable. Like, I went through and, and I started calculating. I was like, holy shit. Like, I knew he was well into the thousands, but I had no idea it was $1,600. So, Bob in Sacramento, shout out to you. Um, dude, I actually might I actually might make a plaque and put it up there. <laughs> $1,000 Benefactor Club. Bob in Sacramento, man. Unbelievable. Abdi says, respect on your name, Bob. Abdi, I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think you just became... I don't know if you're the same Abdi, but I got a notification that you may have become a patron. Let me see here. 
Yeah. Uh, A, B, D, I, Abdi. Abdi. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if you're the same. Per oh, okay. So that is, this is you. Okay. So yes. Yeah, shout out to Abdi who uh, you became a patron six hours ago. So uh, shout out to you, my friend. Appreciate you being in here. Supporting the show. All right. Let us check the chat. Give me one second here. There we are. All right, let's check the chat here. Charles Caballero pops the cherry. Thaddeus Scott gets sloppy seconds. Oaktown's finest gets to fuck her in the ass. TOT Dub 41 gets the finish on her face. And Joby Bloggs gets it all on film. That's the Fab Five right there. Shout out to you guys. Ricky Bobby in the house. Yeah, Joby Bloggs is holding the camera. So the first guy in, the first guy in pops the cherry. The second guy in gets sloppy seconds. The third guy in fucks her in the ass. The fourth guy finishes on her face. The fifth guy in gets it all on camera. Good stuff. BK from the Rockies. Excellent. <laughs> CJ said shit bad timing yeah I just got a uh, I just got a text from CJ I got you CJ it's no big deal no big deal I got you no problem Spin Z likes the new opening the new effects and everything yeah 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 I try to improve the production all the time all the time and again guys like I'm still like I still haven't hired outside help ever I mean dude all of it all of it, the, com the the amateur commercials, the effects, the sound effects, the sounds, the video, all of it. I have no, like nobody, there is nobody behind the scenes. The only assistance I get is from a homeboy sharp assist. That's it. Everything else is all me. Johnny Bravo wants to know how much is 200 milligrams testosterone in ML? Oh boy. Um, you're gonna have to put that in a, uh, put that in a converter. <laughs> Jack Napier says, uh, not enough. Yeah. 200 milligrams is going to change your life, but if you want, if you want to change the game, yeah. Yeah. Nick Loizaga. Nick Loizaga wants to know which of the three tactical soaps do I recommend most? Maverick. Maverick. Dude, that Maverick is the best tactical soap. Hell to the yes. Check this out. This is this is actually really cool. When I take a cold shower, okay? And taking cold showers in the morning, dude, it fucking sucks, but you feel great. If you take a cold shower, and if you can if you can last long enough to get all lathered up, Using the Maverick Tactical Soap, take a cold shower, rinse it off, and all that. Even if you put on lotion, you can still smell. You can still smell the soap. So yeah, that's Maverick is 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 the one I recommend. Area code nine one seven. I see you there in the queue. Give me just a few moments. I'll get right to you. Toxic Crusades is Ray in PG. All right, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Dude, Ray PG out is out here changing the game. You guys better watch out for him, dude. Ah, Ray and PG says, I like Maverick and Durden, to be honest, Bond let me down. I've actually heard that guys get better results with Bond than Maverick. I love Maverick. That's that's definitely the one. People giving uh, Bob props. Says, give Bob a wrench. You know, Bob in Sacramento watches the show, but I don't think he comments. He wants to be very, very anonymous. But yeah, dude, $1,655 is out of this. It, it's out of the galaxy, man. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he's done it over a two-year, two, two-plus-year period. Okay. Oaktown's finest says, can you get those tactical soaps off of Amazon and are they expensive? Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked Amazon for tactical soap, but if you buy them on my website and use promo code Donovan, you save 10%. Yeah. 
Yeah. Matter of fact, hang on a second. Let me let me check and see. Amazon. Now I'm going to start lip syncing because, of course, I'm surfing the web, so please just bear with me. I know this is bad radio, but I actually should have looked this up. Tactical soap. Let's see if Amazon has tactical soap. Tactical soap is not available on Amazon. Tactical soap is not available on Amazon. Looks like it's only available... All right, very good. Well, that's good. That's very, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Perfect. Good to have you guys in on New Year's Day. 914-205-5356 is the number to call if you want to get in on the show. Let's go to the phone lines, area code 917. You are on live with Donovan. Go ahead. Hey, Donovan. It's um, it's Leon from uh, New York. Leon, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good, good. First of all, let me just say Happy New Year to you, brother. You too, man. Happy New Year. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to just keep it short. Uh, I just wanted to just let you know, like, I really appreciate the show that you did um, about when you talked about testosterone. I thought that was something that was really important. Um, I was one of the people that asked the question. <clears throat> excuse me, got to Excuse me, I'm just getting over cold. It's right. um, but I was one of the people that asked the question uh, where I think I said that my, my testosterone level was like in the, the mid-200 range. And you were saying like that's too low. And you were saying like at the minimum it should be 400. So I just want to just thank you for, for doing that show because, you know, that was something that was important to me. And I hope a lot of the other listeners, they, they got something out of it. Yeah, definitely. And if your testosterone levels are around 200 nanograms per deciliter, if you get it to six or 700, your life is going to change in every way. So I'm glad you got something out of it, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and also just to let you know, um, I, I've been putting it off for a long time, but I finally donated to you. I mean, it wasn't much, unfortunately. No, no, no. Listen, man, don't even worry about that. I got that yesterday, actually. I remember it was, uh, you actually did it through the PayPal. Listen, $1, $5, doesn't matter, man. Every little bit counts. Not all of us can be Bob in Sacramento, but guys like Bob in Sacramento, while I greatly appreciate him, there aren't too many guys like him. It's the guys who contribute $1, $2, $5, $7. That's what keeps the show afloat. So I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, again, just want to say Happy New Year. I hope everything goes well with you. Keep up the good work. And, of course, I'll, I'll keep listening. Excellent. Thanks for the call, Leon. Appreciate the uh, the New Year's love. Let's go to area code 757. You're on live with Donovan. Go ahead. What's going on, Donovan? What's up, man? How you doing? This is the freelance Ronan. What's going oh, on? Oh, there he is, freelance. I think this is like the second or third time I've ever talked to you, dude. Yeah, this is second, man. Good stuff. So what's going on yeah, with brother, you, man? I've been, I'm doing good. I've been under the weather, unfortunately, but, you know. Wow, I've you're the second straight caller that's called to call with call that. into you, man. Good, good. Oh, it's something bad going around, man. Something that'll knock you on your ass if you ain't careful. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, brother, man, I just called to wish you a happy new year and much continued success, man. You're doing a, a wonderful thing, man. Thank you. I mean, Thank a you. very wonderful thing. Thank you and, very um, much, man. You have just really reminded me that I wasn't going crazy in this world. You know, just seeing a lot of the things that that go on in society, and, and just you know, between men and not only between men and women, just but but in society in general. And um, I really appreciate what you and Rolo and um, the rest of the Red Man Group are doing. It's just just a beautiful thing, man. And you guys are changing people's lives day in and day out. And, I mean, I can't describe, you know. I mean, I get up and I watch TSR as much as I can, brother. You know? <laughs> good, good. Watching, I appreciate you know, that. Cause, Thank cause, you. Because where I'm from, there's nobody to really talk to about this kind of stuff. Right, and, right. And it's like, it's like that barbershop, that, that virtual barbershop that um, yes. men can come into. They can sit down, listen to the game, and, and share ideas, and it's just a beautiful thing. And I like how you're very staunch. And the way you run things, it's good. Uh, good. Where you don't have, you know, it ain't a bunch of women in there, you know, distracting from the chat and going crazy. Yes. The lessons are always there. It's like being in a dojo, man. And I really appreciate your format. And funny thing is, you were how I found the red field. And every time I turn around, this is exactly where I am every day. 
Well, I appreciate that, man. Thanks yes, for uh, thanks for calling, man. I appreciate that. And and listen, yeah. real quick before you go, um, one thing go that you it, one thing that you mentioned that a lot of guys don't realize that they realize is that, and I've heard I've heard this a lot lately. They'll tell me, Donovan, when I found the red pill, it let me know that I wasn't crazy. I've been thinking these things, and I saw mm-hmm. things, and I thought there maybe was something amiss. But when I found the red pill, yeah. I thought, oh, okay, so I'm not crazy. I'm not the only one that thinks it's kind of fucked up that women have eyebrow rings and pink sure. hair and tongue bars and shit like that and eight baby daddies. I know. Exactly. And um, what I've noticed is um, I think I'm losing your audio a little bit. No, you're okay. But um, Okay, cool. But, yeah, but what I noticed is because uh, for many years I studied a lot of Eastern philosophy and all. And I notice a lot of dualities between it and the real people and uh, things about putting yourself first, looking inward, taking care of your health and all that's That's pretty on point with that right. stuff, man. Right. And you don't get that. The average kid that just grows up in the hood that doesn't get any lessons besides what a single mom teaches him is not going to get that. He's going to get to be nice, take care of the girl, pay her rent. And do all that other crazy stuff, and it's right. just not going to work for the kid, you know. And hey, man, I just I just say, you know, red red blood and red pill, man. That's what we got to be. Freelance Ronan, the original T S R O G, man. Thanks for the call, man. Hey, listen, you got to call in more often, dude. No problem, brother. I will, brother. You know, like I said, I, was, I meant to call last week, man, but I was that's when the, I was really under the weather. But my yeah. voice is slowly coming back now. So Good, good. So Thanks for the call, fun. Freelance. Uh, listen, Freelance is under the weather. Leon in New York was under the weather. Devin's mom is under the weather. So, uh, yeah, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's a holiday sickness. Who knows? I don't, uh, I don't really see, uh, I don't really know what's, uh, what's going on there. But um, either way, guys. Stay safe out there. Stay, um, you know, take care of yourselves, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's get to it. Area code 540, I see you in the queue. I'm going to get to you shortly. But now we are going to get into what we're going to talk about today. One of the one of the two things we're going to talk about today. Three signs your girl is back on the market or three signs your girl is on the market but, of course, you don't realize it. Number one, she draws attention to herself when she's with you in public. I had to break Devin of this particular habit of hers. We went on vacation to Hawaii back in 2016. And we were at, I actually had to, I actually had to check her on this a couple of times. No big deal, it wasn't a deal breaker, but it was what it was. Part of the, I guess this was part of the training. And, and when we were on vacation, neither one of us was thinking about a long-term relationship at this point. But just because you're not thinking about a girl for a long-term relationship doesn't mean you let shit slide. You have to understand that. Okay, so the girl that I'm fucking right now, I'm never going to be in a long-term relationship with her. That doesn't mean you let her get away with shenanigans. That doesn't mean you let her get away with disrespectful behavior. This doesn't mean that you allow for bad behavior. Anyway, we were at breakfast one morning, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it might have been, it was a Sunday. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it was a Sunday, and the Eagles were playing the Vikings, and the game happened to be on in Hawaii. So at halftime, it was like 7 o'clock, it was like 7, 8.30 in the morning. So the game came on at 7 o'clock in the morning, Hawaii time. And Carson Wentz is a rookie, so I think we're I think we're 3-0 and at this point, but we know. No, the Vikings were 3-0, and and I think we were 1-2. and We ended up winning that game. But anyway, so we're at breakfast, and all of a sudden she just starts getting loud and animated. She starts talking with her hands, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Well, my instincts, my spidey senses started tingling. I look behind me. And there's a dude sitting right behind me who look, who may as well have been Thor. Long blonde hair, muscular, probably, I don't know, probably speaks with an accent. That's right, guys. Devin was displaying who tendencies. I shut that down with the quickness. Here's what I did. I said, if you want to fuck him, all you got to do was, all you have to do is tell him. I'm sure he won't turn you down. I mean, I'll tell him if you want. I said it loud enough for both of them to hear. 
I didn't see his reaction, but Devin, she turned a brilliant shade of magenta and was noticeably silent for the rest of breakfast. If you're out with your girl and she suddenly starts talking loudly or starts to become animated, she is trying to draw attention to herself, which is a bona fide hoe tendency. They don't even know that they're doing it, guys. This is just something they're programmed to do. If an attractive male is in your vicinity, it is in a woman's nature to get his attention. This is just how it works. Doesn't mean they're bad people, but you have to check this behavior. When women are around attractive men, they subconsciously draw attention to themselves to get their attention. Now, that in and of itself, that's not a hoe tendency per se. Because men and women alike are going to do things to get the attention of attractive people of the opposite sex. It's human nature. It's just what we do. But if your girl is trying to get a man's attention around you, even though she knows she's in a relationship with you, what do you think she's doing when you're not around? If she has balls enough to do the things to get a man's attention when she is with you, What the hell is going on at work? What happens when she's out to lunch? What happens when she goes to Kevin's office to talk about the sales number? To to talk about the sales numbers? So the first sign your woman is back on the market, she draws attention to herself when she's with you in public. B. Weez says that's a low-key shit test. Probably. But... Here's how you handle that. You can do this one of two ways. You can either tell her, hey, quiet down. You can get his number when we're outside. Or you can simply say to the guy, hey, my girl here thinks you're kind of hot. You guys want to talk? That will embarrass the shit out of her. Listen, guys, listen. Your woman is going to be attracted, sexually attracted to other men. This is just how it works. I'm sure Devin sees men in her daily life that she would love to fuck. Okay. Doesn't make her a slut. Makes her a woman. Wanting to fuck other guys, wanting to fuck multiple men doesn't make a woman a slut. Actually succumbing to that pressure, to that impulse is what makes them sluts. There are are going to be other men that your girl is going to find sexually attractive. What she does on her time, you're never going to know. But if she can't help herself when she's around you, if she can't even think to herself for a split second, wait a minute, my boyfriend's around, and she goes into auto attention-seeking mode, and you're around, your girl definitely has ho tendencies. Shout out to HS Lee 169 with the $10 contribution. Says 2019 is the year of the red pill. Nick Loizaga with the $10 contribution. Says keep up the great work. Spread the red wisdom. Happy Happy New Year from Mexico City. Excellent. Shout out to HS Lee 169 and Nick Loizaga. $10 contributions apiece. I appreciate that. If you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, Come on over to my main channel to watch the rest of the show. Just search Donovan Sharp on YouTube, and the first channel you see with my face as a logo is the channel you should subscribe to. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, or one of my backup YouTube channels, rather, come to my main channel to watch the rest of this episode. 914. 914- 205-5356 is the number to call if you want to get in on the show. Let's go to area code 540. You're on You're on live with Donovan. Go ahead. Hey, Donovan. What's up? This is uh, Jay Thomas on uh, Facebook. Hey, uh, what's going Detroit, on, man? Jay? How you doing, what's man? What's going on, partner? Yeah, I know. yeah what's going on, man? How not you bad, doing? Not, yeah, not too bad, man. Got a couple questions I want to ask. Well, first of all, To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.